our wardrobe designer and Carrie and I went through this phase of discussing what we wanted her to look like. Um, we tried lots of suits and pants and jumpers and all of these things to make it more practical because I have obviously a lot of action and we wanted to to be comfortable and covered and um, you know all the right things in the right places <laughs> and all of that. Uh, but it but it was. Um, there was still something missing and then at some point we came across this beautiful navy dress that we obviously tried and rehearsed all the action and it was good for it. I am Cuban and I know exactly how Cuba looks like and I, and I think it's very hard to recreate a country like this where there is this decadent aspect of it but at the same time so much color and, and it's so rich and, and and the pass of time through the city and the people and the you know the texture and even you it's even the weather you it's like you can feel it on the screen and and when I stepped into those sets I was I, you know blown away by it. Daniel is one of the best James Bond ever. Obviously he he has the the sophistication and the strength and the attitude and the talent but I think personally something that makes him stand out more and and makes the character more special is and maybe people doesn't don't perceive him that way it's how funny Daniel is and he has this sense of humor and this charisma uh, that makes him create a character that's very relatable and real and uh, I admire Daniel very, very much. For a long time, I've been a big fan of Carrie since I saw his work for the first time. And uh, he was one of the directors I had in my wish list. So when he reached out uh, to be in the movie, I was obviously very excited and I thought he was very talented. And then once we started working together, um, Obviously, I experienced how intuitive and how collaborative he is.